Welcome back guys. In this video, I will demonstrate you how we can integrate Skype for business application uh, with ServiceNow platform. So as part of the integration, what I'm going to do is for all the user specific fields like caller field, assign to field, uh, we can display an icon next to the field wherein once a person who is working on the ticket clicks on that icon, the user profile will open in a separate window for uh, in Skype of business application. So to get started with the things, let me first start with uploading an image for the icon which I will be displaying over here. I will navigate to images module for that. I'll click on new. I'll give a suitable name for my image. I'll upload the image now. I'll click on OK and I'll submit this form and we can also copy the code from here which I will be using in my UI macro. Now I'll navigate to my incident form. And for a field for which I want to display this particular icon, for example, let's uh, take into account color field. I will go to the dictionary part of this field. And I will add an attribute over here. So this attribute which I'm going to add over here is the name of my UI macro. So let me give the name as Skype chat and I will update it. Now I will move ahead to UI macros. I will click on new and I will give the same name over here which I gave in the dictionary part of the caller field which is Skype chat and since I am going to create a link I will be embedding my image into anchor tags Okay. Let's see how this width and height is going to work. Otherwise, we will customize it. And on click of this particular image, what should happen is it should call a function which will open a pop up, and that pop up will be the window chat window so i will write on click equals to let me give a name of the function for example the name of my function is user window uh, we can give any name and then i will pass the reference over here so this reference refers to the current field which I am referring to. Okay. For example, if it is caller field, then this reference will hold a value incident dot caller underscore ID, where incident is the name of the table and caller underscore ID is the name of the field. And we can also give tab index so that if we click on tab, it directly jumps to the Skype field. Sorry, Skype icon field. Now let us just first navigate back to our incident form and see how it displays over there. So 
will open the first record oh my god so this is quite big in size this is what we are not looking for and is is not going to be a good user experience so i'll adjust the width and height to let's say 25 percent each Now let's see whether it is able to uh, fit into the required field height. I'll simply reload the form. So this looks perfectly fine. Now we need to work on the click functionality. So once I click on this, it should open Skype for Business app for me and the user who is present in the caller field, it should based on the user's email id it should open the window so that i can chat with that particular user now we will work on the pop-up part so i will create my function within the script tags so the name of my function is user window and i am passing a reference over there which is the reference field as i already told you so let's give the name as reference over here now within this function i need to get the details of the user for example user's email id from that reference field now how i'm going to do that so what i'm going to do is first of all since as i told you this reference is you can put an alert over here and you can check the value of reference the value will be incident dot caller underscore id for caller field so i will split the reference from here I will give the name as reference val. Okay. So I will split it on the basis of dot. Next step is I will fetch the name of the field, only the name of the field I want over here. So Field name is refval. So refval is the name of the array which contains incident at the zeroth position and caller underscore id at the first position. So I want to fetch the name of the field from the first position. So what I'll do is refval1 will give me the name caller underscore id. Now from this caller id I will fetch the sys id of the record since it is a reference field and I will pass the name of my reference field over here. Okay. Now, since I have the sys id of the user over here, based on the sys id, I will fetch the detail of the user, for example, user's email id from the user table. So, I will use the collider card. I can do is I can directly use if condition over here if user dot get then I can pass the sys id to fetch the details okay now within this I will fetch the email id of the user
user dot email and we can also convert it into string dot to string and I haven't declared this variable named email ID so I will declare it on top now I have the email ID of the user over here what I'm going to do is if email ID is not empty then it should open the pop-up for me it should open the Skype window for me so that I can chat with the user so for that I will be using a function named open and I will give this keyword as IP sip and I will pass the email ID of the user comma this function accepts two parameter either I can use get top window or either I can use this function with two parameters and the second parameter being underscore top now what this underscore top will do is it will display my chat window on top of other windows which are open in my system and else we can show an error if email id is empty we can show a particular error for example email is empty something like that okay so this part of the code is done now let me just go ahead and save my code and send off for all now i know there will be a few confusions over here that why i have used sip what is the meaning of sip so sip refers to session initiation protocol okay so this protocol is defined in the backend of every system so let me just show it to you i can navigate to default apps it is configured in every single system so choose default app server protocol there is something named a link present over here and once this opens uh, we will be able to see a list of applications which this particular protocol supports see here it is since i have selected default application for this protocol as skype for business so once i click on on that icon skype window will open so based on your organization whatever chat application your organization is using for communication purpose you can give the default name of that application over here be it teams be it skype for business or any other application if you don't select anything over here so once you click on that icon on the incident form you will get an option whether you want to select microsoft teams whether you want to select skype for business but since i've selected skype for business by default it will show and open the chat window from skype for business app for me okay so now let me go back to my code and i will go back to this incident form let me just reload it and let's see how it works once I click on it see it is asking me whether 
I want to open Skype for business app or not. If I click yes open, it will go ahead and it will search for that particular user and open the chat window so that I can chat with this user whether I want to follow up for something or whether I want to discuss a couple of things. I can do anything on the chat officially. So this is how it works. So this is how we can integrate Skype for business application with service now. Uh, thanks for watching guys and do let me know uh, your comments in the comment section and if you want me to create some other videos or do you have any pain points you can also let me know in the comment section and I can create my next video on those topics. Thank you so much.